Yes, Etsy family, let me tell you what's absolutely shocking to me as a person that sells online, right? And trying to maximize and make sure that they sell really well. I tell you what's absolutely shocking to me. And you know what? I see this all the time is that people do not use what they are given, right? They do not maximize on the listings. They do not use everything that's been given to them to maximize and make that profit, right? I'm going to go through this really quickly because it absolutely angers me. It makes me so angry because I'm thinking, what the hell are you doing? Are you selling or not, right? So guys, if you love videos about Etsy and you love digital products and you love all of that mad stuff, then please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you can get more of these kind of ideas, tips, and strategies in your feed, man. In your feed. Guys, I'm AJ and I'm going to give you some fantastic, easy, easy, basic. This is basic day to day. This is nugget basics, right? Right now. And look, I'm looking at this bestseller boom, in the mom boom, really nice mega family clip art bundle boom, right? Nice. Let me tell you something. I'm just going to use this listing as an example just to talk about stuff. Look, you got to understand something about Etsy right now, right? Things are changing, but forget the change. Let's go to basics. Let's go to the basics. What sells a listing, right? What sells a listing? I want to know. You tell me what sells a listing, mate. What sells a listing? When you look at Etsy, when you look on, when you just, just take your, take your customer hat, or take your customer hat on, put your customer hat on, sorry. Yeah. Take your seller hat off, customer hat, right? I'm typing in a word. It could be anything. You could be selling anything, whatever niche you're in, type it in now in the Etsy, right now in the Etsy search bar. Type in, please. Right. And then go down and scroll down. Just go down. What do you see? What's the biggest thing you see on that real estate of a listing, right? The image, the image is the biggest thing. You're drawn to the image, right? Your images, your main image has to be on point. Your main image has to be on point. That's the window, that wi that door that open. Once you open that door, knock on that door, open it, and then you go to the listing, then you're coming through, right? You're coming through, then you're getting that chance to sell it. But you got to make sure that you unlock that door and make sure that main image is the one. It tells you everything. It speaks to you as a customer now. It's talking to me. So I'm looking down, right? I'm looking down and I'm, and it's talking to me. Like, let me look at, let's look at the psychology of this, right? The psychology. I'm just going to say dog clip art because I need to be specific because this is a bit too random. Dog clip art. It doesn't matter what you're doing. I want dog clip arts, right? I'm going down and, you know, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of listings. How are you going to stand out? You tell me. How are you going to stand out? It's your main image. It's going to draw them in. It's going to draw them in. And then when you hover on it, I like the fact that it becomes a video. Look at this one, right? Look at that. Boom. There's no, listen, it's not by accident that people sell. It's never by accident. There's always something behind what they're doing. And the ones that sell well know what they're doing. Look at this one, popular now. Am I surprised it's popular now? No, I'm not. Because when I hover on it, it's giving me a nice little video that show me something decent. So if I'm looking for a custom dog and cat portrait, I'm coming to this one because it's telling me, it's talking to me. Look, people are going to hover because you are going to hover. So, you know, you're going to go across and you're going to hover. And what I like is a lot of people have clocked on and they're making really cool videos, right? You know, but you are supposed to attract people on the offset. You have, you have like milliseconds. You have hardly any time to grab someone because they're scrolling down. They're gone, right? You have like a really finite amount of time to very quickly get somebody to to look at you right and to actually stop it's about stopping you want to stop someone in their tracks and pause them and think wow that's nice boom let me go to it right so how do you do that well number one you learn from the best you look at the best sellers you look at the ones that are selling really well using some a research seo tool ever be like i've got extension there you analyze the best ones that are selling the recent ones that are selling very well and you look and see what they are doing the beautiful thing about etsy right is that we're not working blind we're actually working with the information right there in front of us like we have the info like if i want to sell which kind of dogs clip art sells i can find out easily 
Etsy's telling me by tagging it, by giving me a little label on it saying bestseller or popular now, they're already giving me that information. So I don't need no SEO tool for this. But then if I want to go deeper, then I can go to some research SEO tool and I can look at product analytics and I can see exactly which ones are selling really well. And that is what you do. And then once you're in the door, because look, so many people say, I think this looks good. What do you mean? I think this looks good. What does that actually mean? We are science based. Do you want to sell? If you actually want to sell on Etsy and you want to make money, you have to be very detached. Don't be emotional about it. Very detached. You have to look science based. See what works. You might not like what works. You might think, oh, I don't like that. Well, too bad. Don't like it, but it works. Go with what works, not what you think works, right? Because if you're able to stop somebody in their tracks, right, and sell, then you'll open the door. Then they've gone through the door. So I look at this one, very nice. It's a bestseller bomb. It's opening the door. I'm looking at these really cute dogs with a little peeking things going on like this. Boom. Hello. And they look so cute right? It stopped me in my tracks. I'm looking at it. Now, the, the percentage is higher now because it's going to be, you know, the percentage has gone up where I might buy now, you know? I mean, obviously there are other elements to it. It's not just that. You're going to be looking at how many reviews, um, looking at the ratings. You're going to be looking at what the rating is. You're going to look at how much it is because that definitely goes a long way as well. You're scanning. This is a scanning time. You're, if you pause, that's really good. And then you start scanning the listing without going into the listing yet. Scan it. Do you like the price? Do you like it? It's got ratings there. Does it look good to you? And then the image. Mm, you know, this all happens really quickly in your mind. Like really, really, really quickly. We're not talking seconds. We're talking milli, milli seconds really quick. So you have to ba basically maximize on that information you're giving the potential customer on what they can see on the outset. Now, obviously, the bestseller is going to help it. That little label there is always going to help. Popular now is always going to help. Going to add that little flavor to it, making it into giving it that little video as well. Look at that. When I hover on it also helps. Looking at the rating helps if it's high and it's good. And also when you're looking at the, the pricing will help. And if it's got a sale, these things all help. Now, let's say you're kind of happy and you're like, mm, I like this. Let me click on it and let's go through the door, man. Let's go in the house. Yeah, let's go inside and let's see if we're going to buy this now. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to look at it again. Bestseller, boom. Okay. Um, so now what do you do? You have to maximize on the real estate. And we call this real estate. We call this listing estate. Call it what you like. Just call it gold. And look at this. You got the title. You need to be using every single word that's given to you, that Etsy's provided for you on that title. I, ca I still can't understand why some people have got uh, missing words or they haven't got enough words. It doesn't make sense. This is like gold. Every word is a piece of gold. Why wouldn't you use it? You're giving yourself opportunities to be put out there on different, um, different combinations of search terms, keywords. Why wouldn't you use it? Use it as much as you can use every single word that's given to you use every single image listing image that you've got given to you that's provided you know still i see some people just put in one image and one video right and i'm thinking what what like especially if there is a lot of competition in a niche you need to stand out and give yourself that best chance how are you going to do it you need to use every bit of that real estate that gold that's given to you right and and use it wisely. Don't just use it for the hell of it. Oh, I want to fill up the title word. Let me just fill it up with all kind of random stuff. No, this is science too. This is science too, which you need to be doing your keyword research. Which are the best keywords to actually put in my title that's going to give me that chance to get sold. That has science too, guys. Don't go random. Oh, I like the look of that image. I'm going to put an image on that. I like the look of those words. It makes sense. It relates to how do you know? You don't know. you got to do your research. Every single part of the listing, science-based work. And you know what? Most people are not doing it properly. I'm telling you now. And people wonder why they're not selling. They're like, oh, I'm not getting sales, mate. I got zero this month. What's going on? Because you're not doing any science. Go study science. Go see what works. Go see what the Etsy algorithm wants to actually sell, right? What's unsaturated. So look at this, the title, right? 
I always tend to put the best keywords, like the most unsaturated, probably in the top line, you know. Um, I like to put the best words first, right? Then I go down. As much as possible, right? As much as possible, try not to repeat words in the title. Now, you can use the words from the title and make sure they go in the product description, right? That's fine. That's okay. Those are separate entities. But within the title, try not to repeat the words. I know sometimes it's hard where you are saying things like maybe, you know, dog PNG, then you got uh, dog breed PNG or something else. Like there are instances where it's very hard not to repeat. But I will say as much as possible, try to use different key words within the title because it can give you more opportunities to be put into different search terms through the Etsy algorithm. So basically, try not to repeat in the title keywords, right? Try to use that real estate, that gold for other opportunities of words. I hope that makes sense, my. I hope that makes sense. Now, Listen, obviously a lot of people, and this is, I did, I've done a video on it anyway. I'm not really going to dwell on the product description and the tags. But obviously do the same thing. Use the words that are given to you. Use all the tag opportunities for those fantastic keywords. Use all of them. Don't just put one or two tags. Use all of them that are given to you, right? Fill it up. Fill it up the better. And also your product description. I've done a video on product description because there's so much to talk about. So much to talk about with the product description. So many people do not use it properly. They're using it as essays. They're not using it as really cool bullet points as well that people kind of skim. Look, people don't like reading much these days. Let's be honest. People like looking at visuals, looking at flicking through videos, TikTok. They just flicking through quickly. People's attention span is not there anymore, right? I'm telling you now. And it's not there anymore. So even in your product description, yes, I would say use the opportunity and fill it up as much as you can. However, be smart in the way you use it. Make sure that you put little chunks of information, you know, bullet points, add some emojis maybe. Do something so that the task of reading doesn't look strenuous. The task of reading it, they actually will read it and not just like look at it and think, oh, that's a bit too much, right? And also the information that you put in it needs to be relevant, right? You also need to try and touch on those important keywords within it. Try and put them inside the, the product description, but also give them key information, answer the FAQs within the product description. Because if they're interested in it and they're just about to buy, they might go across there and think, you know what, let me see, do they do this and what format is it and what's the quality and what's the blah, blah. They'll have questions in their head and you want to answer that there. You want to answer in the product description. You don't, they're not going to message you. I mean, they may do, but they're, they're usually, if they, if they don't find the answers there and they don't find the answers in the listing images, they are going to go and they're going to buy from somebody else, man. They're going to go and leave you. And all that hard work that you did creating these designs, making these beautiful uh, designs is going to go to waste. And unfortunately, so much has gone to waste with so many sellers because they fail to do some of the basics correctly. So guys, there's so much I can talk about, but I've literally spoken for about 15 minutes. So I'm going to stop there, mate. I want to stop there. But remember, use some of those tips. Remember the things I've said. Listen, I'm starting to, like I said, uh, at the time of doing this video, I may have already set up my community Discord and I'm setting up a community so people can talk to each other about things like this. People can help each other out how to optimize listings, how to sell better and all of that madness because I feel like we need to make sure that people talk with each other a little bit more because people do have questions, sellers do have questions and you know what, other sellers can help other sellers sell better. So I think we're gonna, I'm going to set that up. It may already be set up by the time I've done this video so do check out the link below and yeah, come and join us and I shall see you on the next video. Take care, my. Take care.